Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is the Kaguya 1.0 um, updated bunny hop, con uh, updated control and like bunny control, but this is focused on like spell chance standbys and the new spell chance standby rule um, and kind of abusing the power that Kaguya has to set them all for one uh, and making use of that. So let's just talk about it. We have uh, J activate of pay zero. You can only activate it if you put a treasury item into the field this turn. Um, and you can pay a uh, continuous effect of you can pay one to put a uh, chance standby card into your chance standby zone rather than pay two. So any spell chance standby becomes a one drop with her. So really, really powerful. And then flip her over. She can't do battle. Um, so she's like completely safe from any kind of attacks or targeting effects that do damage and stuff like that. Uh, you can pay zero to change the uh, all instances of one attribute in a treasury item to a different attribute. Uh, and then you can pay two water and a colorless to search your deck for a treasury, put it into your hand, shuffle your main deck. So I'm, I'm not going to lie, this deck does not use this side of the uh, as much, uh, at least not until it either gets to um, five challenge, being able to do five challenges, or um, having a lot of jeweled branch of her eye on board, then it's going to flip but primarily it stays on Seer to be able to just spam um, spell chance standbys over and over and over again to keep your opponent off guard. So the spell lineup, because it is a black, um, black, blue, white, we play four lights, uh, four light waters, light vapors, um, three black, blue, or dark depths, two greed stones, moonshade, pay 200, get anything, and then a little red the pure stone to kind of help pump stuff up as well as just serving as a what kind of color we need for the moment kind of stone. The monster lineup is search engine of four night of the new moon with again with five challenges you can just discard the five challenges uh, play something and then bring this back to your hand. Um, I would consider changing this to Cheshire Cat with the new standby rules uh, and possibly just like setting um, setting five challenges out of hand anyway, uh, but that takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit more will to be able to make happen, um, but a, you know, a bluffing style kind of player might just start slamming down five challenges um, and his opponent doesn't know what to expect. Um, but for now, this is kind of probably more of a budget friendly version. You could run Knights of the New Moon and do the same kind of thing. Just discard a five challenges, play a judgery item and bring it back to your hand later. And then, a couple of one inch boys. This monster lineup's gonna look fairly similar to Bunny Hop 1.0, um, but just like the higher end's a little different. So, a couple of one inch boys to be able to just kind of kill anything, especially after Kaku is flipped with Loganus. Um, four little mermaids to have, you know, forced blocks, draw power. Um, with Loganus, you have kind of an unkillable force blocker that just hits in for a lot of damage really fast. Um, three Servant of Kaguya, this is kind of your big finisher, so you get one of these out, you keep it protected, and it can quickly become a, you know, a 28, 28, or a 32, 32, and just swing in with flying to finish off the game. So these are kind of your closers, so you really want to save these guys until, like, you're ready uh, to just finish your opponent off. And then, in the same kind of vein, my reading Fox does the same kind of thing. Uh, in terms of being a big creature that you can slam um, Loganuses and other buffs on, um, but it's completely and totally hexproof. So it's a four drop hexproof, so your opponent's never gonna be able to target it. So you can just keep kind of whittling them down over and over again as you keep bouncing their stuff or you know tapping down their stuff or banishing their stuff with your standby spells. So really, really good. The uh, the package for treasury items, we run four jeweled branch of her eye, because it can, for one cost, and Electrococcus flips can tap down any two creatures. Um, so you just keep your opponent's board entirely locked down and they can't do anything about it. Um, three Loganus the Holy Lance to serve as kind of your, your buffs to your creatures to be able to just, to just finish games off. Um, turns your Knights of the New Moon into 500 700s. One inch boys into 600, 700, like just does a lot of work um, and has that extra protection effect. So with Kagi at 1.0, out on the board, you can make it so that your creature can't be targeted by anything uh, or dam damaged by anything, regardless of what it is. So really, really cool. And then three uh, 
branch on a jewel, jewels on a dragon's neck, um, because you want to be able to bring these back, um, bring your additions back if they happen to get destroyed. Um, so you can just kind of keep recycling them over and over and over again. I don't really necessarily know in hindsight if we need three. I feel like we could go down to two just fine, um, so we can see it more often. Um, but we did run three for the list uh, on Wednesday. And then also, um, two Apollo Sphere, the Moon Lance. Um, the cool thing about this, uh, we, we gotta look at, uh, you can just play it to buff some dudes up and you can banish this card rather than pay the cost of a water spell chant instant. Um, the thing is, I think when we were thinking about it, and I don't know why we didn't catch this before, um, it has to be for a spell chant instant. It can't just be for a water spell. So I thought our th I think our thought to it was to um, use Kagi to change it to fire or something like that, and drop this to play one of the uh, play one of the spell chant standbys at instant speed. But it actually won't work because it's not a spell chant standby. So moving forward, these are gonna get cut like completely. So when you're working on it, and I'm gonna make make sure that's in the description down below, these three cards are gonna get cut. There's just no real need for them, unfortunately, because we, we, we didn't really think about that uh, in the fact that it specifically says Spell Chant Instant. Uh, we just thought, hey, they can be played at instant speed, so that makes sense. But no, Apollo Sphere specifically says Spell Chant Instant, so you can't use these to spam quick casting of your uh, standbys from hand. So just something to keep in mind there, guys. Wanted to be transparent about that. And then um, five challenges serves as your kind of finishing loop as well as some draw power and you can kind of keep cycling it over and over and over again but you can slam down three five challenges every single turn there's really nothing your opponent can do because you're just going to bounce everything they own every single turn guaranteed and uh, it doesn't produce it doesn't target so anything of their hex proof stuff is just going to get bounced anyway then the other standbys we run are three death sentence from the queen um, just making sure that your opponent, you wait until they attack with the thing that you don't want to have die. Trigger this, quick death sentence for the queen. They have to pick one of their other resonators and banish it. Potentially early games can be really, really powerful. Um, later game, if your opponent has a pretty established field, maybe not so much, um, but still a really cool, you know, unique idea. And then Destructive Flow is back. Um, really love this card. This card is like a mini five challenges. So early game, you just let them swing in with their field and then go, okay, bounce everything back. And the fact that it only costs two, uh, it only costs one to play it now and just to trigger it. So you can just ignore that as long as we set it face down. It makes it a really, really powerful card. And then we goofed around with a cane complex and a sign of the future. Sign of the future to do more kind of board wiping kind of stuff, more permanent board wiping, and King Complex to do the same kind of thing that Death Sentence does, just make their creatures crash into each other. We wanted to try them out because of the whole ignoring the upper cost as long as you put them face down. Um, King Complex, I'd probably consider running like one more King Complex and two more Sign of the Future instead of those Apollo Spheres, um, just to kind of have even more presence for spells and removal. Um, but they, they did what they were supposed to do when we actually played them in testing. So yeah, guys, that is the list. I uh, hope you guys like it. Again, um, sorry about those changes that I'm going to have to make. Just wanted to be honest about it. Um, let me know what you thought about the deck, what you think you would change, what you would add, what you would replace Apollo Sphere with, what uh, spell chant standbys you would probably play in your list. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, until next time guys, this is DMO73, signing off.